Hi, I'm Steve Wilde. Tonight, we're going foxing. It's an important time of the year for fox control, really, because it is lambing season and foxes do take a lot of young lambs. Before it got dark, I just thought I'd give you a rundown of my kit. This is my Blaza R8 Professional Success in 223. On top of that, I've got a longbow scope by Starlight Night Vision. It is pretty high-end as night vision goes, but it does the job. My quad. It's great for going around the edges of the fields, especially when it's lambing season. You can just bimble around. The sheep are pretty used to the quad going about, so they're not bothered by it. You can get places a little bit quicker than you could do on foot. If I do have to go on to foot and sneak around anywhere, I've also got my sticks, which I carry in the basket there. And I've got a handheld lamp, just usually to try and help me locate a fox when I've shot it, if I can't pick it up, with the thermal, which I use for all my spotting. It's very rare when I'm foxing now that I do use a lamp. I've got the Helion XP50 from Pulsar here, which is a handheld monocular thermal. I've been using this for about 18 months now, and it's a fantastic piece of kit. My other favorite bit of kit is the IcoTech caller from Best Fox Call. It's a great caller. There's hundreds of calls on there. There's a lot of um, rabbit in distress, pheasant, lamb, all manner of stuff. And then I've just got a sandbag, which I can use off the back of the quad, gives me a nice steady rest. The other thing is a good warm jacket. This is a Deer Hunter Mouflon winter jacket. I haven't got the liner in it because like I say, we are March, but um, it comes with another liner inside. So you are never going to get cold in this. It's in Max 5. I've worn this while boar hunting in Europe. It's a really nice warm jacket. Hopefully tonight we'll get something on the floor. So the plan for tonight is we're going to use the quad, we're going to go around the outskirts of the field, we'll bump into the sheep and the ewes which are in the top field, what we're basically out here to look after tonight and um, see if we can get something in the thermal, use the thermal for spotting all the time, don't use a lamp anymore really, hopefully get something on the ground. I use a quad to cover more ground in a short space of time than I would do on foot. It doesn't disturb the sheep but it does help me control the foxes I'm really familiar with the ground around here. I've been hunting it for a long time. So I'm gonna head off to a field now where I know there's been some more recent fox activity. The Helium XP50 is a perfect tool to help me spot any warm blooded species. It allows me to spot and identify foxes that may be lurking in the hedges or in the tree line. Unfortunately, I don't spot anything here and move on to the next field. I set up the IcoTech fox caller with the rabbit in distress sound to draw in any foxes that may be close by. The large speaker projects sound over long distances, making it a fantastic tool to attract the foxes. Together with the Helion XP50 thermal imager, they make the perfect foxing tool. Keeping the fox population under control is vitally important to managing any land. If left unchecked, they can have a devastating effect, not just on the lambs, but all kinds of wildlife and poultry. I spot what I think is a fox just over the brow of the hill. I ready my Blaza R8 Professional and use my night vision scope to ensure that it is a fox. Unfortunately, the fox retreats back into the tree line behind a herd of grazing deer. I head back to the quad and we'll move to another field. see it. So we've just come onto this new piece of ground down by what we call the river ground. Pulled in the field, thought I got something straight away on the thermal, put the night vision on and it was a badger. So 
We're going to push on down here now, round, and have a look at this bank side down towards the river. I finally spot what we've been looking for. A fox is sat under a tree approximately 100 yards away. I prepare my rifle and ready myself, but notice there is sheep in the field behind. Without a safe backstop, I can't take a safe shot. So we picked a fox up on the hedge line there, but unfortunately these ewes, or first time ewes here anyway, they were directly behind it. We put the caller on, wouldn't come towards us. I wasn't going to shoot it through the hedge because you don't know what's going to happen. You can see with these sheep here, these are really heavy in lamb sheep here. They're going to be dropping any day now, next week or so. That's the reason why we've got to be a lot more vigilant this time of the year really. But we're going to work around the side of this field now, away from these ewes, we'll leave them, we don't want to push them on any further. Work our way back up the river and um, you never know, we might run into him going back. I put the caller back on and hope to draw in the ever-elusive fox. Using the thermal, I spot a fox in the distance which has taken an interest in the caller. I take my rifle and shooting sticks and begin to stalk up the side of the field, using the bushes for cover. As I get closer, the only animal I can see is a rabbit. I head back down to the quad and spot another fox running away from me. I quickly get set up on my rifle and try to get him to stop with a mouth call. It doesn't and another fox gets away. This is becoming a little frustrating. I decide to try one last field in hope of getting a fox down. I quickly spot a fox sat on a log just in the tree line. I slowly and purposefully ready my rifle. I don't want to let this opportunity slip away. There we go, lovely big old dock fox. It's me first fox with the 223 barrel that I've put on my Blazer R8 Professional Success. We came into this field, we've seen two foxes in it. We never had a shot at the first one. I tried to squeak him, but it just wasn't having any. And luckily we came around the back of the field, over where through this flood water, and this old boy was sat on this log behind us. Again, I tried to give him a squeak, but he just sat there. So I wasn't risking it in bugging out as well and um, took the shot and rolled him off the log a treat. As we said earlier, so important this time of the year. It's the second most important time of the year for getting these foxes down because the lambs are starting to drop on the floor now. And these guys, especially a big old fox like this, he can soon whip a lamb off a ewe, especially if she's got twins or triplets and she's trying to look after the other one, he'll sneak in behind her and grab one and be gone. So it's important that we do the job. Perfect end to the evening, I'm chuffed to bits.